Back in South Carolina, we have a lot of really nice things. We got palm trees, as far as you can see. The sky is always blue, partly cloudy with some sunshine. It's really nice. My hometown is very close-knit. You see people, you say hi. Everyone's just very nice and they're very caring. I had a lot of support behind me. I had my aunt and my uncle and my mom who all played in college and coached, as well as my beach friends, a bunch of like 30-year-old guys that are really fun to play with on the beach and helped me get better as a player. My first official tournament was in fourth grade with my mom and dad. It was a grass tournament in Columbia, South Carolina. We didn't win, not even close, but it was a fun time. It was a good family event. We did it every year from then on, and I loved it. There's no high school volleyball for boys in South Carolina. They're currently developing a program now after I've left. Probably the biggest challenge was the distance. I had to travel to play and even get acknowledged by any coaches. So I had to travel to play club to Atlanta, Georgia, which is a five hour drive. My parents drove me every weekend on Sunday morning and we practiced for two and a half hours. So that was a, a pain, but it was worth it. It got me to a new club in Charlotte, North Carolina. It really developed me as a player and it was a fun time for me, I enjoyed doing it. I've also been able to travel a bunch of cool places. Like I went to California, it was the Collegiate Beach National Team. It was awesome, it was a great experience to get me in the USA Pipeline. So then a few other things. I've just been all around the country. I've gone to Arizona, Texas, all the way up to New York. I've been, I've been everywhere. The biggest difference is that you have to be an all around player to play beach. There's only two people on the court instead of six, so it requires a lot more like passing and each player has to be good at each skill. So it's just helped me to practice and play. So then it got me to college, I got recruited from my club in Charlotte and got here. Ball State has really helped me to grow and expand outside my shell. I've gotten more comfortable, more social, just happier honestly. And then on the court also, the transition from when I was a freshman coming in to right now is insane and unbelievable. Caleb Jenis is a, a high spirit, loves volleyball competitor. His passing is next level. His attacking in games, there aren't many guys who can slow him down. And he just, his IQ of the game is, is pretty legit. I'm thankful for all the coaches that have helped me get there, the team, the players, and the staff. It's insane, I'm really happy with where I am and I'm looking to go further. Caleb is, he really is a special player. In my previous role, I've coached three different individuals that were multi-recipients of Player of the Year awards, and Caleb is, is that level of a guy. I think he deserves all of the awards slash the team awards that we're going to get because of him at the end of the season, because he's, he's that next level and he'll go on to play for a long time after this. He has a different love for the sport, and I think that goes such a long way for him. He's just so even kill. He doesn't get too excited, and his lows are not too low. And I think that speaks to his volleyball as well, but that's more character and just his vibe. Going forward, I would really like to continue my career in volleyball, whether it be beach or indoor. The most likely possibility is overseas, because that's where you can make the best job out of it. But there's also the beach option here if I am to be successful with that. It's undecided, but I'll definitely be playing volleyball in my future. It really took his dedication to the sport to really get to where he is today and that's not an easy task being from South Carolina where not a lot of volleyball but he found it and he did a good job of staying involved. It's awesome, it's everything I've dreamed of, I couldn't be happier. I love Ball State, I love volleyball, I love South Carolina. I'm grateful for all the people that have helped me to get here and I know they're supporting me so it makes me happy that I can actually show them what I'm capable of and make them proud.